follow all and then come back to this course on digital systems. So having look at the idea of a flip-flop, uh, you know, especially a, a D flip-flop in great detail and also its applications to shift registers, we can now move on to the general idea of what is known as a finite state finite state machine okay so the idea is as follows this I had alluded to in the beginning of this um, uh, in the beginning of this module on sequential circuits right so you have a, a D Q and a clock okay so this is a D flip-flop positive edge triggered flip-flop right and what I want to do now is to basically control what states this flip-flop you know will go through okay this flip-flop will go through so let us look at okay so now I have some combinational block okay and I have some primary inputs okay and this is going to be another input is going to come from the output of the flip-flops remember all these are multi-bit so if this is n bit this is also n bit okay that means there are n d flip-flops and so you have d1 q1 d2 q2 like that n of them d n q n and you have an n bit um, you know uh, uh, bus that is fed back to this combinational block input i could have some m bits of primary inputs and something coming out of this combinational block okay for example here um, actually i can draw it more generically I have another combinational block here which uh, so let me draw it like this okay so I can take this another combinational block okay and I get primary outputs here okay so this one could be some k outputs okay and this again is n and I can also take the M inputs from here, right? So let me just route that all the way like this, okay? So this is a very generalized block diagram of a finite state machine, right? So you have a flip-flop that ha has some memory, can store state until the next clock edge comes. And this is just going to go through various, uh, you know, states and all that depending on the primary inputs and also what the earlier state was, right? So, uh, so let me call this combinational block 1 and combinational block 2 because these two can be very different circuits. So, the point is there is a combinational block 1 which is going to take the set of states that the flip-flop is in currently and the primary inputs and then decide what the next state is okay so i will call this output here as current state okay and what is coming out of this combinational block one here is basically what my next state is right and the output again can either be a function of the inputs, uh, the primary inputs and the current state or it can just be a, a function of just the current state without depending on the primary inputs, right, for combinational block 2, okay. So, therefore, I have n, uh, n flip-flop, n flip-flops here, okay. Uh, M primary inputs ok 
ओके के प्राइमरी आउटपुट्स राइट एंड या एसेंशियली दिस इज द स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम इन जनरल सो इफ आई लुक एट दिस यू नो जस्ट एज अ टाइमिंग डायग्राम ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ स्टेट ओके दिस इज इट्स गोइंग टू रेस्पॉन्ड एज यूजल टू द पॉजिटिव एज ऑफ द क्लॉक राइट I can have my primary inputs which are switching like this. Okay, it doesn't matter when the primary input switch, right? Because the output of the flip flop will only arrive after the clock edge or the positive edge of the clock, right? so therefore if you look at the primary inputs they will be going through some sort of changes right and um, i also have the current state so so likewise the current state is obviously going to change you know at the clock edge here now i'm assuming there are no gate delays Okay, this is just functional simulation. So the current state will make a change here, again here, and so current state is this, and of course the next state is, uh, you know, it is going to react. okay the next state is going to react to so this one remember could will react even to the changes in the primary inputs because that just a combinational block as soon as the pi inputs any one of the m inputs change the output of the next state will change right it's just that the next state will not come into the current state until the clock goes high okay so therefore if you look at this guy uh you will have something like this okay and so if you look at this the current uh the current state so the primary inputs could be going through its state transitions you know some combination of primary inputs 1 2 and so on the current the next state yes it will make its state transitions here right so i'll call this 1 and as soon as the first clock edge goes high right it will latch that output on to the current state and therefore you'll get 1 here likewise this will become 2 and this will become 2 okay these two correspond to each other exactly okay so the way this timing diagram will go is the change in the primary input will result in the change in the next state okay and the change in the clock edge okay the change in the clock edge here is what will result in this current state change okay so this is very useful to keep in mind because this edge here will result in this change and the positive edge will result in the change in the current state because the current state is the output of a flip flop right so the system will just simply go through a uh, changes in states of you know of the flip flops through many uh, you know through many states depending on the number of inputs and the combinational block uh, and the uh, number of states of the flip flop right depending on how many uh, how many function variable this combinational block one is going to be right so just let's keep this 
timing diagram in mind we'll come back to this a little later so to sort of put everything together right so so we can now do two things okay given a circuit we can analyze and analyze the circuit in the forward direction that is if i tell you what the combinational block 1 and combinational block 2 is right then i can analyze what states this system is going to go through in order to satisfy uh, as it is controlled by these two blocks right on the other hand i could also do the reverse okay so i will say fsm 1 is analysis that is you start with a circuit and then analyze what states the system will go through right or you do design i tell you what the states are and you tell me what the circuit is for that ultimately that is what we want to do we want to be able to design a finite state machine given a certain set of state transitions remember uh, right in the first lecture I told you the simplest state machine that we are all aware of is a traffic signal counter that simply goes through states you know in binary 0 0 0 to uh, f f I mean uh, 1 1 1 1 right or it actually goes in the uh, BCD uh, coding and therefore it will simply go from 0 to 9 back to 0 and keep going like that right the uh, LSB MSB and so on right so the idea is to be able to design such a system